What's up guys, this is the boy from the Maya, I'm back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. Sort of run up on last time, uh, this garrison force within the city for some reason wasn't, isn't part of the garrison, but it's moved. Because I'm attacking it, I can intercept it, because it's not a garrison, it's a field army. Somehow inside the city at the same time. But either way, I'll take it, because it'll give me a good chance to knock down their garrison without having to worry about their mortars. So let's do it. This is an hour special, although these US parts have usually ended up becoming one hour fighting two reasonably sized battles per turn. Um, but this is what happens. This is this is part of the end game. This is what makes doing World Dom into yourself, at least for a while. Ooh, fascinating. So. Six pounder horse artillery. What pop guns are these? Okay, let's put four units of line infantry on this flank. Four units that will spread out on this flank. You have a unit of guards. My howitzers are just going to go. Zilch, zero, and It's a bit weird where you're not being fully stretched. I just don't remember them. This this column will, will advance up. Well, this column, this line will advance up with skirmishers and all of my cavalry is going to be bunched up on the left as well. Check one in the centre. Holy Moses. Jump hangers, see those catfish. Reinforcements are coming in from behind us, so let's run. These guys are gonna keep wanna keep some okay, let's move my cavalry in. Yeah, right now, their reinforcements are coming in from directly behind us. Let's get some of these howitzers to be firing a quick one. Forcing troops. Okay, let's send my crossiers in here to the Dalasas. Our howitzers are having artillery is having a grand old time, so I'm gonna let my artillery do what it's doing. Guns, you go for the chamber peasantry, you go for the dervishes. Because my cavalry is to go my car my car is to go at there. That is it, but my light has been shot into the corner, which is unfortunate. The combat has been reached, so it's target all of my guys. Oh, 
Yes, let's get this infantry on board. That might be our only light cover in, so... Okay. Hello, the charge will to us. Oh, bad enough. No more reinforcements. They're also shooting at them, so they're probably sh shooting these guys to get them through to them. Even though it's in a city, it's behaving as though they're in a field battle. So I don't want to I'll send them after the gunners because they're probably somewhere off in the distance. Yeah, they're in a city, but it's treating it like a field battle, so I don't want to let them run away as well as I can. With, this, with the cuirassiers, if you get silly about it. Loads of troops everywhere, though. Troops isn't a job best suited for for heavy cavalry, but the better than better than nothing. There is a unit of something just escaped. The ghost rocket launches. They're off. There we go. So there's only so long the AI can't could get this wrong. Some are over here. Some are over there. Some are back here. So they will probably escape just due to the fact there's so many of them spread over such a wide area, but our cavalry seems to be doing a good job on actually. Decisive victory, that's exactly the word we want to see. Dec Especially if this is a relatively easy battle. Yeah, so it's treating them like a field army and it's pushed them back. Yep, their teachers, their... their big, there's a big army forming up near... You're gonna, yeah, oh, this is the army that's coming for Bengal. Dangerously near. Okay, do I? Okay, let's not draw them in for one turn to see what happens. Do we result in an even bigger battle? Potentially next turn. Okay, so lots of plantation raids before I forget. Let's bring Cornelius Brown to Texas. And just spend money on everything. Report. 
let's see. Let's give you a new road, let's give you a new government. Let's convey you over Protestantism. Good. Before we do India though. Okay, so. Send an army over, navy over to here. This army. Bark. Ship them to the continent. Because we've got four good armies here. Your humble servant. Orders received and understood. Ready and waiting. It'd be a shame to waste and them. Ready. It'd be a shame to delete them and disband them. And it would also be ashamed to leave them in Europe doing nothing. And the game really does not like me sending them. <laughs> sending them by ship. Make ready. Make ready. Mark. I could bring these guys in over in one giant fleet, but I may as well maximise my transportability. Especially he's like this general, he's fought his way all across Europe. So they will make it back over in a few turns. Munich is exempt from tax. So let's unexempt them and let's disband these troops. Let's disband this artillery piece. Some stuff we can afford to disband because we're doing nothing. Copenhagen is super happy with us so they won't need these cursiers. European infantry is always well received. Let's let ship come over. The Finland garrison. Set sail. Ready and waiting. It feels like we've got to dedicate a bit of time to help mucking up or mucking out these other theatres. Cool. Um, Fiona is exempt from tax, not anymore. Get rid of this general. Hungary can get rid of these chaps. Don't need all this militia. Watch me start to experience massive riots. This rake can start the long walk. Seeking cover. Eh, might as well just run this cavalry down into the theatre. Philip Watson. When you go up towards Afghanistan, looks like it's going to take some time. Evan Carpenter. Plenish and come with him. Azerbaijan can just move up because we need to start creating these like resupply columns. Yeah, that's what you're doing almost exclusively. Because the nearest place we can actually recruit infantry. Ooh, fleets have arrived. So let's drop a fleet over in Yanoan. Then we'll blockade the fleet in Madras. Ships orders. Let's disembark the fleet. Disembark the army. 
Get no, don't do that. Just bottle them up for now. Ernest Miles, drop. You can drop these guys out near cut out. Oh. Frame rate here in the minute. Sir, your orders. Okay, so let's pick. Let's bring Killian Hadley back to Bengal. Still Immediately! At the ready. Can you cover this bridge? Make ready! Mark! Yes, sir. They are trapped. I mean, I'm going to auto that because that's a nothing battle, really. Prepare for war. Compared to the others you have to fight. Oh, are you unhappy? Come let's go here. Oh no, you've got a university. Well you did have, you've got clamour for a form, where is it? There's your gardens. Aha! Pondicherry. Smash. Smashy smashy. Okay, so Satara is a is a concern. Especially because I don't think Sir. I can move these guys into the town without triggering an assault. In that case then, Nicholas Zenga. Orders, Captain. Ready and waiting. Orders received. Every man do his duty. Come on, let's disembark the fleet. We'll disembark Leslie Oliver's army. It's a very weird composition. Let's bring him into the mix. Waiting further orders. Okay, so where's the next logical place to fight? The Luke stands to be fine if these guys come after them. Sir. Then your Winthrop can at least put my money good to go there. Yes, Thanks to me, Clarence Dennett against Artpit Argade is probably a good shot. They shout. hide behind women's skirts. <laughs> Send Archibald south to help. Because right now these two will win in Afghanistan. So let's get Sir. Clarence Dennett to Artpit Argade. Let's clear out another. It's up against the border, and we're going to have to have a few major fights just to clear them out. Being able to catch them one on one rather than three versus three or two versus three is going to be pretty handy because our superior artillery advantage will be great because they've got lots and lots of infantry which we will be able to cut through with our advanced musketry drills and our artillery advantage is considerable. Five solid infantry to be honest, all my guns are coming up here. Not all of them. I'm gonna have to put some. I'm gonna have to put some troops in between them. Let's put some Republican Guard to cover. Then my other gun team can go up here, take advantage of the field of fire. It doesn't mean I can actually put a decent length flank. Cavalry waiting. Although I don't know how much damage they're going to do. Or oh, heavy horse artillery, which is perfect. The general. Who's he at? Oh, he's actually he starts off in a good place for us. Their cavalry is coming at me, which is okay. Oh, my 
own cavalry, but I don't want to deploy them yet. They've got so damn much of it. Especially if they're going to run into my square. All of you guys have formed squares, because of holy Christ. Cavalry battle going on. It's like Waterloo. They're sending in. Pretty cool. It's going to fall apart though, because square for square. I mean, he's got dervishes hitting them. I like it for Jagasi, be very careful. He doesn't commit to the lances here, because the days are broke square. These guys can trap the shot on the peasantry. This lone gun may as well take shot shots at the general. It's a nice order. All the artillery. I'll tell you to focus on the general's body guard. Okay, mate. So in <laughs> a round shot took out my general, but the only guy they got in the entire unit was the general.
I don't see the ones that are left. Maybe just smash into the general. There we go. General's unit's gone. Fire. So we chase down the water lights. You chase. I'm not chasing down them actually. I do want to kill that gun team. Gun teams are always good to kill when you've got the chance. And then the majority of them will sadly escape, uh, but not before we get a few nice kills. Granted, it's only peasantry, but every little counts. Escape over there. Decisive victory. Too bad I lost my general to do it. That gunner killed one guy from that general staff unit, and it was the guy. Make ready. So let's Mark. get another. Jude Skarisbrick. Ready and awaiting. So he can't move. A swan. This, is, non this is a non-battle. So let's just get that one out of the way. Battalions ready! Let's build walls in case they have to entrench. I mean, I've already fought they this behind women. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, this is not going to be a campaign where I focus on capturing cities. Um, like against the Russians towards the end, it became more about capturing the cities to kill them. I want to attack I want to kill all the Indian units like oh, you can actually see I want to actually have them beaten that includes up here your humble servant general Davis has done some good stuff awesome, I think ready for order make ready okay mark let's pull By the left. Set this out and have them replaced with fresh company By the infantry. Left. March. Same with these marines. March. Yes. Make ready. March. I don't want any units that are too True. Ready for low. Us. Forward. Forward. For crown and country. Sir, your orders. Make ready. And you're replenishing and you are replenishing because these guys and are both my yes, reinforcements. Sir. Forward. Okay, let's hit enter and see what the AI does. Troops are on the move. Oh no, I don't know where they're going. In position. Ooh, is this this is in Satara made it. Okay, so sorry, the most my weakest units. You're out. The Sipoys are in. And knock you back in another savage defence. God, I didn't even know where that Mar 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 Maratha army went. Okay, so that's fragments of that depleted army heading towards Afghanistan. They're the remnants of that army. Nagapur is reinforcing the main. My main goal in capturing these regions, kill them. I want to capture the cities. To oh yes, I will do that. I want to capture their cities so they have less of an opportunity to um, do sneaky things. So let's do this. I want lots of infantry and cavalry up front first. Okay, roughly that'll do. But I will want to trigger the 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 defence because I've got quite a strong garrison here. So I will intercept. This is another. Do they want it back? And they've got um, ship troops to supporting these armies, so every time I chew one up, they can get one. Not as quick. I mean, I doubt economics is going to play into it. When I capture their cities, um, I 
contact with the AI. I mean, from a morale perspective, it, it seems they suffer from bankruptcy in the territories, but the AI never really seems to. Um, but we shall see. Oh, it's a foggy one. Stop, but at least they are over here, so they've got a breach ready to rock and roll. So let's put one set of guns ready. Shot ready to go. Let's put. One set of houses back here. So we're just going to drop, drop, quick climb shot through this gap. Not quick climb shot, but you know. And have one here in a more general purpose position. Let's put some light infantry. No, actually, that's a bad place for them. Light infantry here. So they do have other breaches. Put another light infantry in here. So we need marines inside. Because they have here as well. So I might want to make a killing box, something like this. That makes my marines a bit more isolated. But it still means I can put out a serious amount of firepower. Those together to show they're deployed as a pair, effectively. Artillery! Oh, actually, you're destroyed as well, aren't you? You're nearly destroyed, so I might have to put the artillery like here. And I want another set of guns firing the other way. You have marines holding this section. Two units of line infantry should be more than enough. Let's just group these together. Then I have the remaining infantry to fill any gaps, cover sections of the wall, and just generally be useful. So that's my last infantry unit, and I got my general. This how it's a unit keep firing quick line just whatever targets they feel feel like shooting at. So at least these guys will be able to take pot shots with their cannons. So let's speed up time a little bit. Oh these guys are gonna march straight through the gap. I don't have any other breaches I've forgotten about, do I? No. I have no one guarding these sections of the walls. So when you do this, infantry is really unhelpful. And if anything, I'll get this unit to target the infantry moving on the left. That is a bit spooky. Especially as I want them to come straight down the middle. you can start dropping shells in the right spot. I need to maximise the use of my artillery. So I'm hoping these guys will all realise what they're doing is dumb and come back this way. Let's not decimate the sea quarries. Ooh, the head of the column of the musketeers has been hit. There's a lot of Pandarian horsemen shot and they're bouncing on the table. Marching in as though it's just a, just a normal day.
first death breach has occurred. City. Like now. This help, this quick line to you. It's so frustrating, these guys don't seem to want to do their job. In which case, then you guys are just going to sit here. Because it looks like they're gonna, they might end up just throwing guys at the walls. With my hope. They think they throw grappling irons and then just decide to charge into a breach anyway. Good, these guys are in position. So she's going to charge in. Are they going to try climbing the gap? Just a screw in all that. It's getting to drop. Climb shots. Corner. sure that it goes back and hits this corner and not there or there. This is why I like basic simple square forts, because this sort of stuff happens much less often.
I can charge them? I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes this works. Good. Here comes our first unit of reinforcements. is firing. Keep trying to force units to rout so they have to draw on their reinforcements. Musketeers. Hindu warriors are now screwing up the corner. Fire off, fire on.
at least put these guys up here to man the guns, and when they run out of ammo, I will send them uh, back to... I'll get them to retreat. Good, and the warriors are gone. I need to fast forward, otherwise this will take forever. Should I think? Hey. I'm going to have to engage these warriors with the furthest of my unit to get the arc. To get the arc right. Because the trouble is, there is no. Now, uh, now, there is no. Well, apart from then, there is no actual infantry trying to make an attack. And these guys are doing a good job. Good. Quick climb also did an excellent job. Knock on this Hindu musketeer unit. 300 men. The trouble is they're not attacking. They're just kind of kicking. Because otherwise they're going to take for They're not going to do anything. Boom. No, they're going to hit. They, no, they're going to attack those in the complete wrong direction. Okay, they're routing. Okay, the reinforcements are now starting to arrive. Camel gunners. At least these guys are firing the cannons because they're very effective over time. Particularly with the elephants in front of them, because they'll be good targets to engage. I mean, they're going after the camel gunners, sadly. Well, this gun is. And they're all going for the same targets, but they are quite good. Come on, that should be enough camel gunners. Okay, you go for this infantry unit in square, you go for this infantry unit here doing nothing. I speed up time even more because oh no this is getting all jittery now. I'm Twenty minutes in in game time because the AI doesn't really know what to do. It's a quick line. Has to punish them. Hopefully that's the plan. Whether or not it actually works like that, I don't know. Oh, the general's been sniped by one of the cannonballs from the city. Actually, there's lots of cavalry coming up now. Yeah, Lancers, tall men, lots of cavalry. Camels, Lancers, horsemen, horsemen, horsemen. Let's clear some of this infantry off the field. Come on, speed up time a little bit. Okay guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here then bring you guys back when when they try to attack or when... Oh no. Mm. I don't think their attack's going to go very well. See how it plays out. I mean, see how it plays out. Air quotes. We can figure that out. I mean, I want to focus on getting rid of these guys because they seem a bit bugged out. Well, not bugged out, but you know, just not. Come on, 74 men remaining. Just pack it in. Same with you, Camel Gunners. You lost 80 of your friends. Yep, yeah, they've retreated before we seeing a breach. Okay, let's get one unit stopped because they can clinking at cavalry sat at the back. Get some Camel Nomads over there on the flank. Get the Camel Gunners away. Let's watch a quick climb unit smash into these Camel Gunners.
Yeah, not a huge amount. And these damn camel gunners. Look at guys. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the recording here because nothing seems to be happening. So I'll bring you guys back when something interesting happens. See you in a sec, guys. And the most interesting that's happened. You know, the most interesting thing that's happened in a while is gonna happen. But actually, what we're also gonna be aware of is this massively juicy quicklime target as well. It's also developing. Let's watch these. Hindu warriors press the breach. Let's see if they can actually achieve it. So here comes the shrapnel shot. So quickly, it gets shot down the rail. To the building here, where they will be facing. Oh no, they're gone. So this is the only other thing that's happening. Is that the AI seems to be stutter walking its cavalry together into a big heap. Like this. So when you've got quick lime houses that just love stuff like this. These guys, this one's slightly further in, so they can't shoot as much. So I might set them to fire round shot. And just, just engage. Hindu warriors. Oh, they've reformed. But the trouble is, there's so much cavalry on the field. There's no, not very much infantry to actually prosecute an attack. See, now, now, I've dropped some quick round shot on them. Oh no. See, they're all. See, like, that's just asking for trouble. Because one of them, one of my infantry units is going to drop. One of my two units is going to drop quick climb on it, the other's going to drop round shot on it. Obviously, the quick climb shot. Here's some more cavalry. What? Yeah, got some kills. We made a lot of them. Yeah, look at that routing. To be honest, the camels have been they've been shot at for a long time. I'm tempted to switch them to. Oh, killed a general. Killed, no, killed a general. So one of these guys, probably. From the reinforcing army. It's tempting to have them switch to round shot as well. Just because round shot seems that much faster and it still helps. Whoa! Yeah, no, back to quick line for you. There we go. Cavalry route. Which will mean infantry. Infantry to join the chop. stuff. So keep it on them. Especially as it looks like they've come back. They want to reform the team. Let's keep the round shot coming in from a longer range unit. And the cannons from on top of the fortress. I mean like I don't know why the AI's doing dumb stuff like this. But hey there we go, complete the cavalry route, so it's really the target. And my guns, it stopped plinking in the Alpha Engineers. Are you going to go do the same thing? They like this spot. So who's marching to the breach? Some Hindu musketeers. I mean, like, are you going to sit there as well? Seems like the AI is determined just to drop. 
drop a cliffhanger on them, because that's like the perfect angle. Quick claims come in. Oh, it was short round and it missed. Oh, whoa. They tried the breach for a minute. But now it looks like they've decided they want to... They want to slow my game down. See, now the quick climb comes in. You have taken hammering from that set of guns. Let's see if we actually might see the first... Now the AI is moving around and doing stuff. Whoa! Oh, okay. I thought the shooter had got in. Like if they don't do something useful soon, what they're going to find out is that the AI decision making logic is very, very, very pessimistic on armies that use battles. Let's watch this new unit try into the breach. We just ate a big chunk of shrapnel. Let's follow the officer. So you're in command of this army. You know what's going on. In. Oh, that's the family barriers, this is drummer. Oh. Oh, he's up another. Another one around can die, but not him. No, he just makes it over there. Unless the canisters trap the trap. So it's now going to be like a mass cavalry charge. Yeah, it's got spotted because of the damn dervishes. This is not a unit you can kill. Okay, for the first time, actually going to send in. You're gonna try another breach. Apparently not. Okay, speed up time. Oh god, here come the elephants. They have had enough of this unit blinking away at them. So let's make sure they are manning their guns. The guns are the most useful unit. Good. Dervishes. Hey, that's well coming out.
mission. Huh? Not that it'll make a lot of difference. Here. I mean, a lot more of my walls are getting destroyed. The grand scheme of things, certainly. Huh? So, quick plan to keep falling in. Okay, so I'm gonna. Cut it here and then bring you guys back probably at the end because I doubt much is going to happen. So, see you in a sec, guys. Ready, guys, and we're back and we're going to end the battle because. God, they really didn't want to attack because they just had buckets of cavalry, but at the same time, damn it! But look at that, this is why you do it. 9,000 losses because the AIs decided, the, the, the logics decided that because most of their armies didn't even get into the battle, it's probably that catastrophic. We lost 500 men, they lose 9,000. And while it's frustrating and it might be boring, that's how you end up wearing the Marathi Confederacy down enough. Let's water is all that. Let's see how well our mercenaries do. Oh, great, not terrible. As they scramble to figure out. You can't risk going new too near any of my settlements because you know I will force you to attack me without prejudice or concern for your safety. Okay, you need to get the hell out of there. Yeah, okay. Making. He's fallen back towards another position you want to be in. <sighs> no, decline the attack. Okay, I'm, I'm going to force them to attack Zahedan. Um, however, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the tr the interception of attack against Zahedan. It should be a lot faster because once you destroy their artillery and their, these guys, they have no recourse. Then we have our cavalry to chase them down. Uh, once they're on the campaign map. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.